The use of North Korean troops as part of the Russian armed forces in Ukraine must be defined as a red line, says Mike Turner, head of the House Intelligence Committee of the U.S. On his page on the social network X, he called on U.S. President Joe Biden to hold a briefing of the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence to discuss the alleged involvement of the North Korean military on the side of Russia in a full-scale war. I sent a letter to President Biden demanding that his administration provide answers and that the use of North Korean troops against Ukraine become a red line for the United States and NATO. The publication says, Turner also noted that the Biden administration has not briefed officials on any U.S. or Pentagon intelligence assessments of North Korean troops' movements, although he said South Korean and Ukrainian intelligence agencies are already detailing those processes, including the movement of North Korean troops on Russian ships. In a letter to Biden, he clarified that the United States must show an immediate response to North Korea's actions, as must NATO allies, to avoid an escalation of the war. The deepening military ties between Russia and North Korea have earned condemnation from the United States, South Korea and Japan. The three countries announced a new team to monitor arms sanctions on North Korea. The United States has expressed concern over reports of a North Korean military presence in Ukraine but has not independently made the accusation against Pyongyang itself. General Charles Flynn, the U.S. Army's Asia-Pacific commander, told an event in Washington that North Korean personnel being involved in the conflict would allow Pyongyang to get real-time feedbacks on its weapons for the first time. This kind of feedback from a real battlefield to North Korea to be able to make adjustments to their weapons, their ammunition, their capabilities and even their people, to me, is very concerning, he said, speaking at the Center for a New American Security. Special Forces of Ukraine's main intelligence directorate have recaptured from Russian forces a key area, the village of Kruglyakovka and its surrounding area, near Kupiansk city in the country's eastern Kharkiv region. The main intelligence directorate reported on Friday that the operation to regain control of the village lasted a week, from October 7 to October 14. The enemy resisted and tried to counterattack, but was defeated and driven out of the village, the agency stated. The village was recaptured as a result of joint operation by special forces of the Brotherhood Unit of the Main Intelligence Directorate under the Defense Ministry, with the support of paratroopers from the 77th Brigade. As a result of successful offensives launched by Ukrainian forces, the Russian army suffered heavy losses. More than a platoon of Russian military personnel was killed and captured, according to the agency. As a result of the operation, Russian troops were driven out of the populated area, and the routes of movement of the occupiers were mined. The news of liberation of Kruglyakovka in Kharkiv comes as Russia has been making steady gains in the east of Ukraine. Earlier this week, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky pressed for immediate invitation for Ukraine's joining NATO.